I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Political dynasties, the Kennedys, the Obamas, and now the strongest political team to ever be created by the Illuminati, Taylor and Travis. That's right. After years of Republicans proving nothing, I mean, zero evidence of election fraud, zero evidence that vaccines kill you and install a microchip in your brain. In fact, zero evidence of any conspiracy and zero evidence that Hillary is the devil. Okay, not zero, but only like 2% at the most. The brain trust on the right has come up with a new reason they can't win an election and can't get their poll numbers to move. Swifties. That's a Swiffer. Taylor Swift is being called a Democratic PSYOP that was designed to win the election for Biden. She's the Manchurian candidate. She's a a tool of the liberal elites to take over the country and ruin America by making sure we have, I don't know, health care, cheap medication, infrastructure, millions of manufacturing jobs, and women will have the right to their own bodies. She votes against against fair pay for women. She votes against the reauthorization of the of the Violence Against Women Act, which is just basically protecting us from domestic abuse and stalking, stalking. And all the while, while she's making that happen, we get to dance. Damn you, Taylor. The right-wing crazy bus has really driven off the cliff of mental illness this time. All the normal stick-up-their-ass psychopaths have already weighed in on this. Jesse Waters on Fox News said, and he said this on air. Have you ever wondered why or how she blew up like this? I mean, except for talent and decades of work since she was a kid. But go on, Jesse. The Pentagon Psychological Operations Unit floated turning Taylor Swift into an asset during a NATO meeting. (laughs) So NATO, with all the military might in the world, who could destroy the planet with a couple pushes of a button, needs a sequined pop star to make sure we don't elect a six-time bankrupt treasonous pedophile so Armageddon doesn't happen? Cool. Good idea. But Travis Kelsey also fits into the conspiracy because he tried to kill Americans by doing a commercial for the COVID vaccine. Yeah, you know, that vaccine that cut death rates in half. And and he also did a commercial for Bud Light, you know, the beer for gays and transgenders and everybody who really has absolutely no taste in beer. So to wrap it up, the Republicans believe that the NFL tight end and this pop star who keeps her end tight, sorry, that was misogynistic. Uh, Let's be honest, they both have great asses. The GOP believes that these two are the reason Shank Bastard will lose in the next election. It has nothing to do with the Republicans being the worst and most unproductive House of Representatives in the history of the United States. It has nothing to do with voting against helping anyone except billionaires and millionaires. The Republican losing has nothing to do with taking human rights away from half of the American population and trying to take voting rights from the extra melanin people. It's all because of two people. And that would mean that the Democrats started this PSYOP when these two undercover American destroyers were toddlers. Yes, Dems play the long game. (laughs) Republicans, do you fucking hear yourselves? Here's what Taylor Swift said about her political opinion. She said, I always have and always will cast my vote based on which candidate will protect and fight for the human rights I believe we all deserve in this country. Well, if you think about it, that's in the Constitution. She also said, I believe in the fight for LGBTQ rights and that any form of discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender is wrong. You know what? (laughs) Also in the Constitution. Then she added, I believe that the systemic racism we still see in this country towards the people of color is terrifying, sickening, and prevalent. Oh my God, Taylor Swift. She knows the history of our country too. And regarding Marsha Blackburn voting against the Violence Against Women Act, Swift said, Those aren't Tennessee Christian values. I live in Tennessee. I am Christian. That's not what we stand for. Wow. She sounds like a great stand for what's right in America. Maybe you Republicans should try that. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. God!
Man, Republicans are so obvious. When someone's better than him, you know what they say about Mother Teresa? Yeah, look at her all old and wrinkly. Maybe she got some moisturizer, it'd be better. But every time someone's better than them, all they gotta do is take a hit to sigh off at me because they can't even imagine being decent people. Hey everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. I am sound tired because the Republican Party continues to drain the life out of me with their stupidity. With me as always, the lovely bombshell Ray. What's up, people? And the Highlander. They're gonna be the only one. Started out like that so we can just instantly cut out anybody who's because I'm tired of the I'm tired of the 25. You guys are awesome comments, and then you know what? Uh, you've lived hard, shit libs. It's, it's coming back because um, you know, the outright they're a superhero. Is the election starting again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 you know, we have over the years since the beginning of they're sending their rapists. They're not their best, and I assume some are good people. Though you know, except for the ones I called rapists and thieves. Um, and he's not even sure. He's just assuming, right? Maybe. So we've we've got to this place where I keep thinking it's it it can't be crazy. They took mm. the airports mm. that, you know, they, uh, you know, what do you mean? He kept, what do you mean? He kept thousands of top secret documents. Like I you always think it can't get stupider. Yes. Yes, it can. Uh -huh. <laughs> so now it's a new bar every day, <laughs> but isn't it stunning though? Like you never hear, you it know, was stunning. Hmm. It was stunning. I don't know when, but uh, this one, blew the me. first year, the first year was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Now yeah. it's just like, yeah, here we go. Yeah, more, more of the same. I this one, this one made me laugh. I laughed so hard, and then I realized they were serious. Oh, I know. First woman, man, camera, TV. I remember he said this the other day. He had a rally where he got at me. He's like, he goes, not everybody could pass that test. Not every. He goes, he goes, Again? he goes. No, no, you got to see this one. This he goes, he goes. They show you a picture of a lion, and you have to say it's a lion. Oh, and they show a picture of an elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's that's that. true. <laughs> not everybody can pass it. It's not people <laughs> with dementia cannot pass it. And you only get asked to take it because we because think you might you have might, dementia. Yeah, it's really signs. not the own he thinks it is. It's like, bro, you gotta stop bragging <laughs> about identifying a lion. I put the square block into the square <laughs> hole. Not okay. a lot of people can do that. People okay. who don't know their shapes. Can't do it. <laughs> I can tell that's a moo sound. That's a cow. Next. <laughs> I just I, I just don't want to, I don't want to reelect because I don't want a, a, a president that's going to do policy based on a speak and spell. Exactly. Shink. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the Taylor Swift thing. So here's why. The Taylor Swift, uh, uh, um, t uh, Travis Kelsey thing is, it's so, I, I, I can't even frame it. I don't even know. So, okay, so this this is the conspiracy. This is it, ready? Okay. That the United States government, now Jesse Waters, the brilliant guy on Fox. Just trying to take Tucker's place. He's not going to do it. He's no. lightweight. I mean, say what you will about Tucker. Tucker, there's something about Tucker that at least you paid attention, because he made me mad. Jesse Waters doesn't make me mad. I'm like, you're just a douchebag. He doesn't hit that frequency of that glass breaking there frequency. Is that. That's what There's it is. Yeah. About, yeah, he, yeah. When it, oh, oh my God, when Tucker Carlson was like, <laughs> what the fuck? That was like, that, you know, if you were in a group of dudes and you laugh like that, you're not in that group of dudes. You're like, hey, dude, we gotta, my car, I gotta go home. Why? Because my car is not working. Then you're like, dude, we'll you guys up after we drop his ass off. What the fuck? What was the thing we were talking about? It, they like left with what is remaining of the Republican Party. They have Ted Nugent and Kid Rock. So, so Kid. So, by the way, yeah, the, see, Scott they have Kid Bale. Rock. Scott Scott Bale. Scott Bale's kind of faded though. John Voight. That's because you got off Twitter. John John Voight. Voight. John yep. Voight. Rob Schneider. And who's the no, other guy? Rob Schneider. Schneider. Rob Schneider. Oh, John he... Schneider. A lot of Schneiders. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, John, you yeah. mean the Schneider my brothers? John Schneider? Yeah, that one. Oh, he's yes. a Trumper? Hardcore. He's, he you mean the guy that drove the car with the Confederate flag? He said Biden needed to be killed. Yes. He said Biden, needed, really to killed. Yes. He said Biden had to, needed to be killed. Um, I would say that's a Trumper. Yeah. That qualifies, I think. Yeah. I'm sure he didn't mean it. He's a blonde one. Of course. I would never love a guy named Luke Duke. You got, come on. You did your best. I did my best. <laughs> but I guess, guess your best, best wasn't, wasn't good enough. <laughs> um, so so th this is a conspiracy. The, so that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelce together because they're so high, high profile, high powerful, uh -huh. that they together 
mm-hmm. are going to swing the election to Biden. Now, that that so by wait, the way, wait, wait. They got together and to do with this. the government. Sp- yeah, with the government and the UN and the UN. Okay. Because Jesse Waters said the UN had a meeting okay. where they discussed using Taylor Swift in a psyops that Trump to- is running. Right, but it, it, no, yeah, Trump's in charge of the government, right? right. He's still president, right? But also, yes. how the fuck does none There's of this go together? Yeah. But also, he said conspired. But John, John F. Kennedy Jr. is running the other one. He said conspired with the NFL and the NFL to and get the government. The, it's Kansas City Chiefs, right? Because right. you said a different team today to Shannon. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs. You said Royals Chiefs, right? or something. Kansas Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah, 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 Chiefs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, to get them in the Super Bowl. Right. So basically, the government's helped get the Chiefs into the Super Even Bowl. Even though they've been in three of the last four. Right. But so we're not d- talking about Yeah, that. we're not going to mm-hmm. talk about that. Not so those, good. Not this yeah, is yeah, from no. the government. Well, they've been trying it for three and or four years. And that makes him more high profile. Right. And then she's so high profile. And then they were like, they were like, Taylor, you need to go hang out with this. She's like, I don't like football players. Yes, you do. Okay. He's awesome. And then and, and endorse by the way, you, Biden, and to, and which so she they, hasn't done. So they think at halftime, oh. she's going to perform. She's not. Okay. And they're going to come out together and say, you need to vote for Joe Biden. Uh, and let's interject here. By the way, all the indigenous people are like, these fucking white people, when they're still <laughs> called the chiefs, yeah. fuck off. Exactly. <laughs> they're still called the chiefs, right? <laughs> anyway, and we're like, shh, 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 shh. We, we're, we're worried about uh, this conspiracy. As it pertains to that, we were watching the news today and an AT&T commercial was on. It was like prepaid mobile or something. And <laughs> she it cash, says up so, to she doesn't miss $30 anything. per month, low, low price. And then in fine print at the bottom of the screen, I hit rewind re- so he could see it. Except on uh, tribal lands up to $75 per month. So the Indians- Wow, good catch. How did you- like, She's like, look- shit. I oh, always dude, read the bottom dude, of the screen. Imagine living with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but she 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 caught it. I'm like how the how do we continue to? I should just yeah. say by the way if you live on a tribal land free yeah yeah you yeah. just get to use as much yeah but, but yeah and thanks right for exactly. thanks for that we're using all the, everything um so because so this conspiracy it mm-hmm. would also mean that Taylor Swift had been recruited a long time ago because her career has been building and building so which means as children. Mm-hmm. Because the only way you get in the NFL or become a major pop star mm-hmm. is to start quite young. Right. Yes. So she she was putting out records when she was 13, 14, right? But I don't think that this really. Mm-hmm. No, no. I'm just saying that like they would have to Because she could be, have been a good person and then the government They got would to have her. to be grooming her. No, because she's At, from Tennessee. Oh, yes, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. While she was a country singer. She lived in Tennessee. She, she lives in Tennessee, but she's actually she's, from Philly. Oh, is she? Oh, that's true. She, yeah, oh, when there you go. Now when on, she was on. very now young, she said to her mom, I think I need to go to Nashville. And her mom said, you're right for you to have a shot. that's where so the, the government- So the whole family moved to Nashville for this little girl mm-hmm. to pursue her dream. And look what happened. There's a lot of rural spots in Philly, though. There's a lot of, you know, but now, I'm familiar with the area. But so oh, now, right, so right. wait, so that means they recruited these people to work for the government. Uh, and they're both in jobs that take a hundred percent effort, a hundred percent of the time. And for some reason, okay. So wait, our go- so so our government decided not to recruit like undercover agents and stuff to make sure. Because mm. by the way, why go to all this trouble when Trump could just have an accident? Yeah. Why to go to yeah, all but this? You're like tru- doing that thing where you try and rationalize. No, I'm just trying to say. Do you guys understand how insane? How, I know, but it's. I'm trying hey to put guys, it just legislate. Just pass some bills. Do some something laws. you can point to. Uh, Chip Roy, give me one thing. Yeah. A Republican mm-hmm. got up on the on the House floor and goes, "Guys, can you give me one thing we've done?" If if they do anything that the majority of the people like, they would be in power. They wouldn't have to like scrounge and try to figure out. There's a reason for this, and it's always a fucking conspiracy. Yeah, if always, they can't figure it out, always. these fucking people have been around since the fucking dawn of man. If they don't can't figure out why something is so is working and so successful, it's got to be a this is but also magic. They can't, and they I can't, so she just can't be on the side of right. Taylor Swift can't just go. No, yeah. I think that we all need our rights, and they they're taking my reproductive rights away. Yeah. No, I don't. I think she can't just be. No, I believe this. Mm-hmm. It has to be a conspiracy. And I, uh, as I was doing the Armageddon thing, I was ranting. I realized why. People on the right are so self-centered. They claim to be, uh, um, they claim to be, you know, Christians, mm-hmm. which is Christians like you know, give the shit off your back. Mm-hmm. They can't imagine that Taylor Swift, with all that money, fame, and power, 
would just be a nice person. They can't fathom yes. it. Yes. They can't wrap their yes. minds around, oh, I could just be a nice person. No, no, it's got to be a conspiracy. But what is the mental gymnastics required for all of their bullshit? Right. <laughs> yeah, true. It's like you can't true. keep up with it and- <laughs> It's well, that's what he was saying. It, like, it, you're right. He's right. Like, so wait, Trump's still the president, and he's running two. There's two militaries, but he's running for but that's president. That's like the far fringy. Like, the, that's the that's like the Q um, people. Oh, as opposed to the Taylor Swift is trying to switch sh- sh- the, the election. That's the f- not as far fringy. <laughs> there's varying degrees <laughs> of fringy. It's the yeah. Hunter Biden people. We need a Venn yeah. diagram. Psychos, uh-huh. half psychos, Less psycho, <laughs> yeah, yeah, half psychos, but still psycho. You're on the fringe. It's yeah. It's um a lot of time spent on Hunter Biden. So James Comer has brought in all these witnesses. They just had a witness come in. His witness that he called in, and the guy goes, "No, I, I, you know, he was he worked with Hunter." And he goes, "Joe Biden was never involved in any of our business dealings." <laughs> and I guess the house was like, "We brought this witness in. Everybody Why went, did you your know witness, he yeah. was gonna say?" Yeah, it's like can, they have done less than the, I Anybody, think the history. last time. Uh, did that change? Because yeah, it was history. since nineteen fifty something. No, no, no. Wait, now, wait. Now it's with it, more time. It, it, it's gotten it's, worse. It's actually they've done. They've passed less legislation and, and introduced less legislation than any time in any Congress in history. On top of that, they finally get a border bill. They finally right, get. I was just they say negotiated that. the fuck out of it to the yeah. point where Biden's like, and and they had Republicans come to the mic and go, "Hey guys, we need to pass this because what's going to happen after the next election? Because they know they're in trouble. What's going to happen in the next election if we lose the the House again? The Democrats are going to pass whatever they want. So, okay. Then Trump got involved and said, "Don't pass any. We need the border. I need the border to talk about." Well, but the problem is that we have TVs and we all have news and we all know that you guys killed the border bill that you negotiated because you didn't want to fix a problem because you want to blame the problem on Biden, even though Biden negotiated it down to a point where it was acceptable. Now they're going to try to impeach Mayorkas, right? They are. uh, The House is. There's talk as to whether or not it's going to pass and then go on to the Senate. But so look, so this border bill, it was so... I, uh, compromised, I guess, which is what legislators are supposed to do. Right, it's why right. we have both parties and they mm-hmm. come together mm-hmm. and everybody's mad, but everybody mm-hmm. gets something. Right. So Democrats were mad at Biden for this bill right. because he was going to close the border. It's going to be a lot tougher. Shut yes. it down. He said, as soon as you sign it, we'll shut it down. We're going to figure this out. And Democrat, all of a sudden, people in LA are like, "Oh my God, I can't believe you know." So he pissed. My gardening is going to go through the <laughs> roof. <laughs> so this bill was them working together. It took them a long time. Now they're going to shut it down for Trump, who's not even the candidate yet, no. who's not in office. Right. The election is almost a year away, ten months away, or whatever. Then Oklahoma GOP just censured. Well, okay. They say they censured uh, Lankford over the Senate border talks. Uh, James Lank- Lankford, he's Oklahoma Republican. He was the chief negotiator for Republicans in the Senate border security talks between both parties. They posted a resolution on X. They said he was playing fast and loose with Democrats on our border policy. So they voted to censure him. Then the president what does that mean censure exactly what is it's that, like what is that? uh How dare you it's like guy. if it, yeah, yeah really it, you he got written up no yeah, you that's didn't it. that's just, no it's you, a, you didn't get but <laughs> yeah. the gop is in such disarray all over the country right now we just watched oh, we, a thing about yeah. this that then the president of the oklahoma GOP, i think it's president or chairman maybe the chairman went on X and said, it wasn't properly done. I wasn't notified. Then the president went on X and said that it wasn't a valid censure because they didn't follow the proper rules of the of the party. And so they are now fighting over whether or not they censured the guy not. for working with Democrats oh on a God. border bill. And homeless people are out there riding electric scooters because <laughs> <laughs> what was what were the other things going on with the Republican Party right now? It's, it's all across the country. It's it's all out of control. I mean they 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 can't seem to get get it together on anything. We, uh, what was the recent thing that was the that was speaker. They, oh so Mike Johnson said we're gonna pass this border bill. 
So Johnson comes up and he's like, we're going to pass this. We got to get something passed because the government's about to shut down. They basically, yeah. they've just yeah. pushed it down the road, kicked the can down the road again. Yep. Can we get a fucking government that works? I think you know, it's so funny when I hear people say, anyway, so Johnson says, let me finish this first and then I'll take it to my next rant. So Johnson basically says, tells his, tells the house, we need to pass this. Taylor Green and those 10, those 10 or 13 psychos, like if you, if you work, Here's the problem. If you work with the Democrats at all, we're going to shut you down like we did McCarthy. So you've got these people. That's insane. You've got these people that are like, your job is not to get clicks on YouTube. Your job is to actually work for us. That's it's not you. to shut things down. It's to make things happen. <laughs> right. Figure it out. Right. Like like infrastructure or the CHIPS Act or cheap good drug prices or adding 12 million jobs or adding 1.5 mm -hmm. million manufacturing jobs, bringing manufacturing. That's your job. Jo Biden, that's what I love about Biden. People get like, they don't, he's, they, they keep him in the quiet. No, he just doesn't have a press conference every day like Trump did. If Trump, if Trump was such a great leader, mm -hmm. right, and had such a this great influence, and mm -hmm. he can make phone calls and you know make things happen, how come he can't get the, he their own fucking party together but and how, stop the infighting? But how come he didn't? Okay, People wait, hold he's on. already been president. Yes, hold on. He in said he Michigan, he said a lot of things. Michigan, uh, a group of Republican state committee members voted to on January sixth to remove. Caramo, Caramo, right, Kristen Caramo, Caramo yeah. who is a Trump supporter and an election denier. Um, uh, of course. So there was a minute where you could go to Michigan's website. This was on Rachel Maddow, remember? Right. And there would be a thing, re the GOP's website, redirecting you to a different website with a different dot because Karamo was saying she was still the speaker and of course refusing to admit that they had ousted her. So she had a shadow... Website? GOP, yeah, that <laughs> had an shit. extra dot. So it's been this whole thing since this happened. That it's been a month dot. now. That's it. She added it. It was like Michigan dot dot GOP com. dot dot com or something. <laughs> so now, just yesterday, it came out because they they ended up filing a lawsuit, and they have now acknowledged that it was a valid vote. And she has been legally declared removed as Michigan GOP chairwoman. They interim appointed a new person. Well, the national GOP oh, no. is meeting, I think, in Nevada or somewhere soon, and they have declined to accept either person at the convention. <laughs> <laughs> so it's stunning they're not getting anything done <laughs> in the country. It's really, it's really stunning that they can't seem to get their uh, shit together. Uh, that nothing's getting done. So we now have a country that's pretty much gridlocked. And, and I think what people need to understand is that you said this perfectly this morning. We were talking about you. She's talking about the elites and stuff and about, about how they keep going. We got to go after the elites, except the guy, everybody's don't because Trump spent this was on the news today. Do you know that Trump spent $50 million of campaign money mm -hmm. on his legal pack defense. money, yeah. pack money. So people that donated all you people that donated your hard earned money to this billionaire. And he's arguing that that's part of his campaign. And is that what it is? Does, that's not even the point. The point is that you're a billionaire, right? You have a, you, should, you know, you, he got to fight the elites that are trying to take me down. And she was like, he, he's he got golden toilets. And I'm like, right. And a plane. This she's is like, the and biggest a fucking, Jedi mind trick I've ever seen yeah. in my life. That th we are watching these idiots be interviewed outside of his rallies saying he's fighting the elites. And I'm like, he arrived on his 757 with his, his name on it. Mm -hmm. He owns golf courses in other parts of the world. Multiple yeah. golf courses. What is that mind trick that yeah. he performed and where Cam these idiots think that he is fighting the, he is He's the elite. He's the fucking poster child for elites. Right. Yes. And then, and then he, he, he flew to, he, he flew out of the country to an island to screw underage girls with the worst pedophile we've ever seen. So let me say this. It's what's bad to me is, is that these people that are giving him 50, 20, 50 yes. bucks, he spent their money not to make America better, not yeah. to make America great, to bail his ass out of crimes he committed, yeah. to literally pay for his attorneys to get him out of mm -hmm. crimes that he lost worse. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, in other GOP news across the country, <laughs> Carrie Lake has released uh. audio of a phone call where she says she was being pressured to drop out of blackmail, to drop out of the Senate race. It's all a little sketch to me um, because it's, I don't Very know. Very set up -y. Yeah, I think we'll see. But uh, she then 
So then after that happened, the GOP of chairman. chairman of Arizona resigned. So then people were like, oh, he resigned because he was guilty. And then he came out and said, no, I'm resigning because she's threatening me. He said, she's 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 going to release more tapes dam- damaging to me, which I'm like, so well, she's but, blackmailing him. Yeah, But also, what the <laughs> fuck did you do? If you heard the audio, I heard it, and it yeah. do, it does sound a little Doesn't set up. She sound very. She tough. sounds like she's acting. Yes, I, yes. If you yes. believe I would ever do anything against this country, you are insane. You I can, am not a crook. Ten million dollars, <laughs> twenty million dollars, or a hundred million. I will not take yeah. it. And I was like, and even if I was like, mm-hmm. well, I was with my sister when that happened, and her husband was on the phone, and I got to see in real time how they took it. People that are supportive of that and my sister loved how strong she was she said fuck so many times and she was like standing up for what's right because she's america first that got said five times america first you know and i'm like the woman who's still saying that she is governor of arizona even though her lawsuit wasn't even heard it got kicked out because she has so zero evidence Mm -hmm. the woman that's running around saying and making everyone believe that our elections are fraudulent yep. so that they don't believe in our system of government anymore. Yep. That woman, so America you do know first. That Hitler's Hitler's thing was Germany first, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aye, aye, aye. Like so, it, it, that was that was the one thing that that was one of the one of the big yeah. If you slogans are, of Nazi, if Germany. you are actually America first, then you need to be into unifying. Well, then we go back to Not Taylor division. Swift. Go, when you go to Taylor Swift, she quotes the Constitution to the, basically two things that she that she she doesn't want. Uh, anybody, uh, all, all, we're all created equal. We all mm-hmm. have the same human rights. She doesn't want her, her rights as a woman taken away. Mm-hmm. We're, we're all created equal. Basically, she's just basically her opinion is based on the constitution. And she does it through like a red, white, and blue bedazzled microphone. Exactly. Like how American do yeah, you need to exactly. be? Exactly. And uh, the, well, the, it's interesting. They keep playing that video on MSNBC or whatever about her talking to her parents. Her dad, I guess, tried to jam her up, and he and he says this. He actually says this. This is in 2018. Trump was running. Trump was president. It was out of control. And she goes, I'm saying this statement. Her dad goes, "You want, are you willing to lose half of your audience? And I thought, wow, that's not the dude you want running your career. You as an artist, you want to be able to say what you Express want to your, say. Express yeah, your, right. Yeah. No, no matter what. Yes. And that's why I do a podcast from a garage. But mm. the point is this. Former chair Wait, of Arizona. Oh. Let me finish. I thought, so oh, I thought that was the big finish. So, that's so, why I do a so podcast. Then, so, so then she says- she says all this stuff. She says that Marsha Blackburn, she didn't want to vote for Marsha. She she was going to make a statement against Marsha Blackburn because Marsha Blackburn was going against the the Violence Against the Women Act. She I don't voted even know, against the Violence Against Women Act. I don't women. even know how that happens. And she he goes, in stalking. And she points at herself, stalking, she dad. She said, victims of domestic violence. Stalking. Stalking. stalking like yeah. that, you yeah. could really see how passionate she yeah. was about it. And she goes, I need to do this. And, and so I just want to point out how fucking wrong her dad was. So her dad says this, right? Dad says you're going to lose half your audience. Yeah. This last year, mm-hmm. the uh, economic development department of the United States, whatever the economic office said, that because her concerts were so so huge and made so much money, she added five billion dollars to the GDP yeah. <laughs> on her own. <laughs> Holy shit! And sold out stadiums. Her yeah. dad, I, I'd be like, man, next time dad came in and go, can I give you advice? Really? You mean like the last time when you said I'd lose half my audience and I and I and sold I out it? and I, yeah, I quadrupled it? I'm paying you, right? You, yeah, yeah. You get you get a check from me, right? He's dad? like, go run Dua Lipa's <laughs> career, okay? <laughs> I need coffee. <laughs> yeah. uh, dad, go. Arizona Republican Party, also the former chair, Kelly Ward, they've now found spent more than $300,000 on legal consulting fees last year related to lawsuits that were contesting Trump's defeat. She also authorized spending more than uh, $530,000 on an election night party and bus tour for all of the Trump backed candidates, every Five, single one of whom lost. 530 grand on a party? How is and that possible? Bus tour of all the candidates that he backed, and not one of them won. So that's a problem. Didn't Corey, uh, someone just got, some one of the Democrats just got notified. Corey Bush, Corey Bush. she's the one that they uh, served a subpoena. Um, in Minnesota, at one point last year, the state GOP reported having just $53.81 in its bank account not counting the debt um largely blamed they on the, the fallout bus driver they pissed they tipped use it to of tip the former it. chair in the wake of a federal sex trafficking scandal uh connected to a prominent they just donor. found out that the guy that run the, the nra um uh wayne, just, wayne lapierre, lapierre. He, he, he resigned formally finally uh that he was spending 
hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of NRA donors money on clothing trips. And it's even worse. I, I, he resigned the day because it's, it's actually got worse. Colorado, I'm just doing state yeah, GOP. Yeah, yeah, state Colorado state. was unable to pay, the GOP was unable to pay for any of its staff members in early 2023 after Chairman Dave Williams accused the previous leadership of leaving the party in debt to its landlord. Uh, he is an ardent election denier and then sued the state <laughs> over its primary system, an effort led by John Eastman. Uh, I thought Eastman lost his license. Florida. You know, Florida. Love Florida. Uh, the state Republican Party ousted their chairman, Christian Ziegler. Oh, this is the sex, uh, the sex that the uh, the menage a trois. Yeah, maybe. the people that fight. Moms for liberty. Oh, moms for liberty. Yeah. Moms for liberty. <laughs> <laughs> moms for liberty. Get a couple of them moms in the room. I'll take them all along. Let's go. I got your liberty. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I there's so many more, but it's really not going well right now. But is but, what but I'm here's saying. the thing. It, what's happened over the years is when I was growing up after Nixon, there was a there was a weird shift in the country. There was I, mm. I think Kennedy. I think Kennedy showed how good things could be they were like now we can't have that let's yes. kill him uh and then then you had these kind of uh, as as chris rock said about leaders uh, substitute teachers and then you get nixon who was a flat-out criminal but even nixon went to china to open the china even nixon did his job to yeah. a degree he was he was yeah. like a he was like a behind the scenes criminal he wasn't on tv going i don't I'm know that i would say even nixon about anything <laughs> i'm gonna be a dictator well compared to trump i'm gonna be a dictator on day one we have mm -hmm. a guy who stole thousands of top secret classified documents and his family member got two billion dollars from basically a foreign adversary from Saudi. Uh, it, it's like it's not the, the fucking it, it, you, it's the dots are not it's not hard to connect them because they're fucking right here. They're like the dots are so close together and that these people they interview them. These guys that are going out a uh, mockler this kid named Ryan. I think it's Ryan mockler goes out and interviews at the trump rallies and he's very he's, he knows all this he's a kid young kid and i keep thinking he's someone's just gonna beat his ass he just is like he's like yeah trump trump uh, trump's president he goes trump's president right now and he goes so yeah. the economy's going well because of trump yep okay then why is trump running for president if he's already president mm -hmm. what what <laughs> the mm -hmm. kid locks these people up it's so awesome that you just see them glitch mm -hmm. every single time uh the dumb in my country is shocking. I've been doing comedy for a long time. I've met some of these people on the road. I didn't realize they were this stupid. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Taylor so Swift. Be watching this election because three battleground states, I told you about Michigan, where they have two people running it and finally had to have a lawsuit for somebody to say, no, it's that person, except now they're not being recognized by the national party at all yeah oh they're then you've this. got florida so they kicked that guy out he just got kicked out they're gonna no they're, no they they learned they learned from the last election the it's, gop chairman was just yeah, kicked they, out let me just i just want to say these three battleground states and then also nevada so those are three major battleground states and Nevada has its top two state party officials have now been indicted for their role as fake electors. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've become the countries we've mocked my whole life. We, we've become the, the, the shitty third world countries where you're like, what went on? Honduras? What happened to draining Nicaragua? the swamp? What? what about that whole draining the swamp thing? Nicaragua. Right. This no, is they all, are the, well, this is, they they fertilize the swamp. They are in the swamp. No, they when you're in the swamp, you you think the swamp is out over there, right? They're in the swamp. Yeah, they yeah. don't. This isn't the swamp. This yeah. is where we live. Yeah, uh, Nicaragua, man, is like we become those weird third world country. Some half assed, some half assed like communist dictatorship, and and people. No, even even in they're see, figuring it out. So did, fucking Brazil, uh, yeah. Trump, they changed their laws. They kicked, they banned him, the guy who's the, the old guy, but then the who, 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 who just who just elected the guy with the chainsaw. Someone just elected what? Uh, who's it? Well, not Bolsonaro. Who's President the guy? Leatherface? Who, who oh, no, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah it's no um, one of the, the countries, uh, Brazil esque country, uh, just elected a guy who's so Trump, it's crazy. Kate's Kate's gay, thinks they need to be killed. Uh, he, was, he was like, I'm gonna cut through the red tape, and he had a chainsaw at all the rallies. Yeah. What the hell is his name? Chainsaw, Chainsaw Joe. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I like that. Sorry, um, Chainsaw Jose. This episode brought to you by AG1. Yes. I don't 
There's no segue for no, that. Chainsaw. He... You're outside cutting trees. There's no, don't no? try it. Okay. It's, 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 <laughs> sometimes you don't have to do it every time. Uh, uh, very important for taking care of your health and for making taking care of winter. your health especially easy. Especially oh man. Yeah. With allergies, sickness, it's got, it's, it's basically so that you don't have to stop and think, what vitamins should I be mm-hmm. taking? What minerals do I need? To make vitamins and minerals in it. protect my immunity, it yeah. just does it for you. Yeah. Our new bag just came yesterday, yay. and it was like, oh yay, because uh, we're both using it. Um, I notice instant energy. I've told you guys I start using it. I've started using it right before I work out or ride the Peloton or whatever because it gives. It's not like a jittery energy, but it's just it's better than a pre workout. I think wholesome. There's a wholesome feeling. Yes, to it. Yes, yes, I yes. agree with that. Um, so you take a scoop of it, put it in a shaker bottle with some water. I use the D3K2 dropper, drop that in, shake it up. You're done for the day. It's got over 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced, superfood. Adaptogens. <laughs> I'm not even going to say that because you guys both get. Oh, I, I, I can't get the word out of my it's head. like mushrooms and stuff that like our bodies need. Right. Um, and can I say this? I, I Probiotics, sometimes, I have, prebiotics. sometimes I think, oh, I don't want to take it. It's green. And then I, re- then I remember how good it tastes. Then I always remember, oh, it doesn't taste bad right you know it's not like some of those drinks in the past we've we that used to get would taste like i just medicine or lawn clipper yeah and like you know and uh this one doesn't i love i love ag1 and if you do it every day you really start to notice the benefits it's mm-hmm. like even like green foods that you're not getting in your diet mm-hmm. especially if you're busy you know when we're on the road and stuff i feel better that i'm actually getting yeah. greens yep. in me because we're eating plain, plain yeah. food or we're on the we're driving and we do stop at Chick-fil-A. Or we, or, we, or we have the balls to look at a menu at a comedy club. I, yeah. uh, hmm, I don't know how much what cheese do I want in my potato skins. Me? Yeah, they just in they, Iowa. We have restaurants uh, fried nearby. Fried chicken fingers. <laughs> yeah, they go <laughs> restaurants ranch. nearby. And fried chicken, fried Sometimes we'll chicken. <laughs> Sometimes we'll get someone on the staff that'll come and say, would you guys want anything? And we'll get something that she'll say, do you have anything that's healthy? And they'll just go, oh, hell no. You need to yeah, here's two restaurants. Order somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. So that's why I like this. And it supports my immune health. And it helps with skin and hair and nails and everything. So if you want to take ownership of your health, you can start with AG1. Try it and get a free one-year supply of that vitamin D3 K2 that I told you about. And five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash Titus. That's drinkag1.com slash titus you will not go be check sorry. it out it's good stuff no that's why we've been taking it so long good, good, good stuff. remember those old cereal commercials where they would compare you could take this much of total or you could take yes a, a, yeah. this much yeah. 50 oh, oh, corn yeah. 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 yeah this is like a deal with the vitamins that's why i feel like the cost is like that's okay a, that would be a decent commercial well, here. here's, a, here's can, the multi-vitamins you would need you, to you take stack it up and probiotics and which food. are very expensive yeah. prebiotics then stack up all the greens and the mushrooms and like adaptogens. right that's a great there you go aj1 there's your ad idea from ken you're Highland. welcome ken highland uh so there's this new reporting that's kind of terrifying i'm trying to find the exact list but that the trump white house pharmacy improperly provided drugs during the trump oh, administration yeah. Yeah. the list is crazy guys they were getting fentanyl. They were getting like, like so uh, basically they were ordering through the government because they, they, they could order what they want. You got to find this list because it's insane. I've got some of it. What do you got? Uh, they spent $46,500 just between 2017 and 2019 <laughs> on nearly 9,000 unit doses of Ambien, which is a brand name sleeping medication. That's 174. Four times more than the two hundred and seventy dollars generic equivalent would have been, and also enough Ambien to last somebody ten years. Um, Someone was saving up. They spent ninety eight thousand on forty two hundred unit doses of Provigil, a brand name stimulant. stimulant. Yeah, oh, they could have go. gotten mm-hmm. the generic oh, for eighteen hundred. Ma- yeah, but that makes sense. They got yes. ketamine. Why? They got. Um, the thing they're all scared of, fentanyl, fentanyl, uh, yep, hydrocodone, like mm-hmm. massive amounts. You guys have to go look at this list. A new report, AG report, just came out. So where did it go? Because because was someone doing like side deals? Well, do you remember Ronnie delivering. Jackson? Yeah, exactly. What Jesse the Pinkman. fuck? I think it started. So they're By saying. By the way, this is my friend Heisenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie Jackson is now under fire over prescribing all of this stuff because they've also found that it wasn't properly prescribed. Under it's, fire, it's an or, unnamed. Yes. But by the way, you should be under the jail. It, listen, you can't, j- the, just the dose amount. Mm-hmm. You couldn't use that much mm-hmm. in the four years. In the what White House. Talking, in the White House. What are you talking and about? And Ronnie Jackson is now in the Senate. 
So You can get in trouble for doing that for, at CVS, let alone the fucking White House. Opioids and sleep medications were not properly accounted for. The prescribers the wrote prescriptions for controlled substances that lacked the medical provider and patient information that is mandated by the DEA. Um, most he, people would be in who, prison uh, you know by what, now I, for you this. Know what, I, you know what? I, I think I, I, I think Don Jr. needed a side hustle. <laughs> Records <laughs> published. <laughs> this is a multi-year investigation. They showed that in the first nine months, nine months of 2019, the medical unit, which only tends to medical needs of White House staff, ordered 34 packs of fentanyl, 40 packs of morphine, not doses, packs, and 30 packs of ketamine. Those drugs are usually only used in a medical setting as a sedative. Or at a rave. Or illicitly. <laughs> All right. Holy shit, babe. That's crazy. Yeah. That was nine months. Do you, do you know what the right would be doing right now? Mm -hmm. Exactly. If this mm -hmm. was the Obama yep. oh, or Biden God. administration? Yep. They'd be running on this but for the next the, 20 years. Yeah, but this is why they go after Hunter because they were doing more. They were doing mm -hmm. more drugs than – like, mm -hmm. listen, this is this – is, Hunter – in the entire addiction, yep. didn't do this many drugs. That's crazy. Yep. What the fuck? How come? How come? I, I watch. I watch CNN today. CNN, by the way, has lost their fucking minds. Yeah. CNN lets these guys get up, say whatever they want to, and then and then doesn't doesn't counter it. Doesn't go. That's not true. The economy's running at this figure. They say the crazy shit. CNN isn't isn't covering this. Nobody. I give up on CNN. Oh, they're not. No, CNN. Have not you heard this. about it? Yeah. Oh, you did hear yeah, about yeah. it. I, I started on MSNBC. Somebody needs to do a thing on this. I'm oh, no, they week. covered the trace amount of cocaine that was near yeah. the oh, yeah, yeah, magna yeah. Uh, the Right outside the pharmacy, yeah. apparently. Uh, uh, this will be on the next Armageddon update. By the way, this is going to be the next Armageddon update. People are calling for Ronnie Burris Jackson to lose his medical license and to be brought before the House for hearings. Of course, they're not going to do that. Uh, cool. Lindy Lee, who's an American, she's a commentator. She said White House Dr. Ronnie Jackson was handing out fentanyl and ketamine like candy. Steve Mnuchin was handing out PPP money like candy. Republicans handed out tax cuts to billionaires and corporations like candy. MAGA Republicans are the real welfare queens. It, this is a mob organization it's crazy oh, you're just running this is drugs the, this is the drug the, version yeah fucking, running, running. it's narcos in, in the fucking white house fentanyl hydrocodone morphine oxycodone ketamine um send that to me i'm gonna I, who my, are you giving ketamine why, to why aren't why? they bringing everybody who was on the staff who was eligible to yes because why aren't they quite because it's, what, it's my i'm sure they are because the democrats are pussies democrats have this thing Right now, you've got the Republicans who, by the way, they're bringing Mayorkas up. They're bringing everybody up. Are they going mm -hmm. to impeach anybody? And what they're doing is one thing. They're trying to use the word impeachment. So so when Biden's running against against Trump and he says impeachment, well, they're like everybody. No one's going to – it's not going to have any – It's they're taking the entire heat out of the thing. The only other person that's been impeached was Nixon. Mm -hmm. I think we've had two impeachments in the entire history of the country up until Trump and then he had two. <laughs> so, he <laughs> doubled it. So, so these Republicans will – go after anybody for anything not mm. pass a fucking bill the democrats on the other hand are like we don't want to do that that's not us but it's we don't <laughs> control the house though i we don't control the house but but you can actually have committees you could start yet screaming from the Which fucking is rooftops why we're sitting through hunter biden hearings every uh -huh. day for mm. two years yeah but hunter biden doesn't we don't have reports and we don't have in own voices like hunter biden did i what know he did. but they're they have the majority so they're voting to continue that this being the business of the house. Yeah, guys, I'll be honest with you. Do you want the government to work? Get rid of these Republicans. And by the way, I'm not saying all Republicans because again, Chip Roy was never my favorite person, but for him to stand up and go, yeah. can you give me one thing we've done? Do you notice how quiet Chip Roy's been since then? I'm sure that they smacked him down. Uh, oh, I'm sure. But look, I mean, fentanyl, that's their big platform. That's their big thing, and were, right? And they were distributors. Yeah, exactly. The they, fuck? That's what they're trying but, to kill the competition. They're like, whoa, whoa, we got to stop this fentanyl. Why? Because we can run our prices. But nobody, <laughs> nobody's going to do anything about it. Now that it's on, the offense is actually on their side. They learn, it's, yeah. it's all fake. It's all bullshit. You're right, though. The Democrats need. But it's not both sides bullshit. Because well, Menendez, yeah. Menendez needs to go. We all agree. I said yeah. that to him you today. Said, this is what I've I seen. said, she this said. is the difference. Mm -hmm. We think Menendez needs to be out now. Mm -hmm. He's a threat to national security. He Egypt, should not be on job? any committees. No. Luckily, they finally did pull him from that committee. He should not have any access. Right. 
he should be gone. We can say that. They won't say that. Anything that happens to any one of their party members, they're Fake just, news, oh, witch yeah. hunt. Mm-hmm. or, oh, everybody does that. That's their new thing. Oh, that's just how people in New York are. That's what um, Tim Burchett said about Trump. That's how people in New York talk. But what? Democrats need to take a cue, a take From a page. Gavin Newsom. Gap. Yes. Yeah. And everybody. This episode brought to you by HelloFresh. <laughs> Speaking of Chip. All right. <laughs> no, we're going to go back to it. Because we, we think he's the great white hope, honestly. We always talk about it. Um, <laughs> HelloFresh. If you're trying to save money, best home cooked eat food better, have I've less had. stress, think of less things. Uh, you get seasonal recipes delivered eat, right eat to well. your doorstep. Instead of eat having well. a bowl full of gray glop, that you can so actually. That is so true. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Uh, if you want to surprise people that don't think you can cook, this is how you do it. Yep. Hello Fresh will oh, take dude. terrible cooks, non-creative people, and you will plate like a chef. It is mm-hmm. you will be and zesting. Can I say this, dudes? If you're single, yeah, this order this stuff. You have yeah. this, and you have someone to order order the doubles, order the order the, the four, and cook yeah, it. You eat all invite, the servings. You just quadruple it, okay? Because you're gonna need three. By of the them. way, by the way, invite. <laughs> Invite someone over for dinner. There's date, what you missed. Little data ruski. That was the part you missed. Little data ruski. Bring over and you you give her this. She's gonna be like, oh my god, you can cook too. Ken got the four servings yep. for mm-hmm. a family, mm-hmm. and instead of inviting a girl over, no, he agreed. ate all four. No, I did, but then I said, oh, you wanted some? No, oh, he, oh so she came over and just that? watched you. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> I was. You believe me? This is delicious. Uh, they also have extra pantry items, which I think is kind of cool too. So uh, they have like egg bites that you can just grab and go in yeah, the morning when you're taking the kids to school or whatever, or on the way to the gym, healthy stuff, muffins, all kinds of stuff. And you get to pick your menu every week and the frequency and for how many people and or they pick for you and it's always awesome. If, whenever I forget, I'm like, ah, I forgot. And then these mm-hmm. things come and no it's insane. I, I have yet and I have tried a crap load of HelloFresh recipes, some of them multiple times. I have yet to have something that I would think, oh, I don't, I wouldn't do that again. Right. It has That's true. Right? Yeah, we have been... an, of all the stuff that we've eaten, you're right. There's not one thing. I, I That was good. I'm, I, I, the worst I've ever, that was awesome. That's the worst thing I've And said. you learn how to cook. Like you just texted me from the cabin when you were there with Jet and you said, okay, so I can bake these meatballs, right? And we've never baked meatballs, right. but HelloFresh did that. So he did that for Jet. So you take those skills into now, when that you wasn't, don't have HelloFresh. That wasn't HelloFresh. That was me doing stuff of my own. No, that's and what I I'm saying. seasoned the chicken to the point where I was like, it, just such a nice kid. He's like, this is good. I'm like, no. Was God. that a different <laughs> night you made chicken? I made chicken that night and I, and I smothered it in that stuff. I'm saying you took that skill that we learned. Oh, that, that we learned from HelloFresh, yes. And then mm-hmm. used it when you were with I Jet. just didn't have the damn cards to do it right. <laughs> yeah, you need it right. Are the meatballs good? Uh, the meatballs are great. Well, there yeah. you go. That was a HelloFresh tip. Um, so it comes to your door. It's pre-portioned ingredients separated. Each bag is for each recipe. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Titus Free. Use code Titus Free. You get free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is active for life. Free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash Titus Free with promo code Titus Free. It's a pretty sweet deal. The entire time you're with HelloFresh, you breakfast get Breakfast for life. And they have badass breakfast stuff. Yeah. I like our America's uh, number one advertisers. Uh, there's a couple companies though. I I, I actually go with it. Like I like so I pay for them online. Right, I pay for their app, mm-hmm. and they started giving me ads too. I pay a little, a nice amount for them, and they give put ads on their app. I'm like, I don't fucking, I pay for you, yeah. so I don't fucking have ads. It's happening everywhere though. Like this, all the streaming services are moving over to the, to an ad. That's nice. You know, you keep getting oh, notifications really? like. I know you've been paying for this. Oh. But now we're going to put ads in so it. So, by the way, we gave you streaming so you didn't have to ads. Now we're going to do this new thing. Yeah. Remember TV in the 40s <laughs> and 50s? And we're going to raise the price. Uh. <laughs> I did see uh, Netflix sent us a notification that if someone in another household is going to use your Netflix, then you they're going to charge. It's like seven ninety nine a month. But we have one account. We, we have we have the other cabin. We have to use pay for another house. Just saying. They've been notifying us. That was a very bougie statement. Though. Anyway. I don't. <laughs> it, we, we, the, <laughs> profits. So they keep talking about inflation. And then they were talking about that corporate profits are the highest they've been in now 70 years. 
it's not inflation. It's not more expensive to get that stuff. Maybe it's a little bit more because they had to get the supply chains working again. But corporations are using this excuse of supply chains to fuck yes. us yes. constantly. Mm -hmm. And I, I predict this. The first company that comes straight out and goes, this is what it costs. This is what we have to sell it for here. Yeah. And here's our profit. Well, there's companies that have our, like Costco. Um, Costco. Kept their prices the same and on purpose. Right. And they're like, no, we're not going to move. Pretty Nothing's smart. changed. So. Right. I Way love to go, Costco. Costco. Costco's Honestly, awesome. I just I become I'm I like, didn't used to get it because you were so into Costco, but now I'm like, like full in. Well, even I've learned more. Costco is like pretty like like uh, it, then when you figure out like Kirk, oh Kirk, I used to still look at yeah. Kirkland brand and go, oh my god. Then you find out Kirkland oh, brand. It's great oh no, value. That, that's legit. They have yeah, some really I, good products. Like, like their diamonds are like, oh yeah, these are the ones that were just they just missed the cut at Tiffany, so we bought them and. I'm like yeah. what? My niece, more pure, my but, niece yeah. put Costco diapers and wipes, and they're not advertising this uh, on no, her not. registry list. And she said, "No, I I read they're actually Huggies. They just put so they buy they so it. much yeah. they rebrand, uh, but they only ever have great products. So you can kind of I don't know. I love mm -hmm. Costco, mm -hmm. and they don't advertise. It. Just saying, um, yeah." Why are you staring at me? Just, I was just thinking it's about because I love you. I am. Uh, yeah, I do. I feel like I feel like Roger looking at you sometimes. Uh, I think we are at a place in this country where, and, and people keep saying this. I, I keep hearing people. Trump's going to be president again. No, no, he's actually not. They did a, a, a and I think polls are all bullshit. But uh, they were talking about if, if he gets convicted of anything, fifty-three percent of the American public said I won't vote for a guy that's been convicted of anything. There's another. State. But like, I love that. That's the level, though. Yeah. We've got him. We've got him. Jeffrey Epstein was his best friend. Mm -hmm. Six bankruptcies. Mm -hmm. We've seen him rip up. There was a great piece on a guy told a story about a guy that did business with Trump, and uh, he signed a three point two million dollar contract. Trump ended up paying him one point three. He got the check finally, so two million dollars less than he was promised. Got did the job. Mm -hmm. Got the check. Went and cut checks to all his suppliers, and then went home and killed himself. And that there's hundreds well, of stories like that. he had to sell off all of his equipment. Equipment, that's right. His trucks. He had to, to pay them, everyone. To pay for the people. So, we had Ruined nothing it. left. Trump did that to thousands. And then yeah. killed it. But there are several accounts of, of so people in New York killing and themselves. And so, now we've got, what I don't quite get is it's the same people, same rural, hardworking, blue collar people that are backing him. Mm. And, but I, I am I am shocked at the people they interview at the Trump rallies. Shocked at the level of them. See if you can pull up a thing where he said where he talked about uh, his cognitive tests. It's <laughs> awesome. Uh, it's awesome. I did want to tell you uh, the FBI chief, uh, FBI director Christopher Ray testified today. Oh, and he has warned that Chinese hackers are preparing to what he calls wreak havoc on U.S. critical infrastructure. He said that they Chinese hackers are positioning on American infrastructure in preparation to wreak havoc and cause real world harm to American citizens and communities when China decides the time has come to strike. Uh, he was questioned about it and he said that they have found that they're targeting things like water treatment plants, electrical infrastructure and oil and natural gas pipelines. They're trying to find and prepare to destroy or degrade the civilian critical infrastructure that keeps us safe. Because it would only take about three days. It would take about three. If, 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 mm -hmm. if all the power went off and all the and no, we couldn't get food, three days. And I mean, all hell's breaking. They did try to send that balloon over, and we were just like, <laughs> well, okay. So this this thing, if Chris Ray testified against this, we've got we've got the the, the stuff from Russia. They we know they in, infiltrated. We've got. A war in Russia and Ukraine. Mm. We've got Iran uh, now killing our people over there. We got Israel oh, and Ga Gaza. Oh, we've got we've got uh, China wants China wants Taiwan. Syria is getting about. I, I remember I said this a couple of years ago when when Ukraine started. I said, guys, world wars don't start with because of one thing. It just keeps going. If you took it took. It took from what nineteen thirty three to get the World War Two going. Well, I mean, you could consider it World War One was the launch of World War Two. Well, that was over. That was over nineteen nineteen twenty. Yeah, but I could see. I could but see that the, the, they were still angry. Germany yes. was still really fucking angry. Yes, and they they were like, we yeah. So what I what I'm saying is that we World War Three doesn't just happen. It's we all of a sudden years. we find ourselves yeah. in World War Three. Yeah. China does this, we bomb China. Biden right now had to make a decision to bomb Iran. And I, what I don't quite get is it doesn't seem it doesn't seem there's an off ramp. 
Mm-hmm. You know, what's the off ramp? How do we stop this? Yeah. You know, I mean, wh- what it would take was someone had to take Putin out. We'd have to get a decent leader. What it would take at the heart of it is for human our beings to be good politicians to stop to being assholes, work together, to work together and agree so that we could take steps to stop this. But you've got one party either pretending it never happened or making up that it did happen. Vivek Ramaswamy, who gets an awful lot of media airtime just said hold on let me give you the direct what he said that the nfl is rigging the super bowl <laughs> for potentially taylor swift's endorsement of, but the nfl is rigging, rigging the, the super, super bowl, bowl right for biden because biden directed the nfl for taylor swift and 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 kelsey what grammar so how are no how are we going to get anything done to yeah. protect our country yeah. we're not well, that's what we said about the internet though the internet was developed as this thing to make us all one world and all understand the same information what fucking ended up happening is now we all get to pick what we want to believe the we danger pick- is inside the house yeah 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 it's the here the call is coming from inside yeah, yeah. and we at well but the it's divide and conquer it's, it's it's an old thing it's you know sun tzu it's it's these guys have understood that if we can get we convince the dumb people of anything they will do anything to protect us and and when i see people i they interview this guy this guy this kid's uh and he and they're going we well, say yeah we need a civil war i could use it they also agreed like 10 of them agreed one after the other yeah a dictator that'd be the way to go we need a dictator yeah yeah how the fuck do you guys even have you read a book like, do you understand what history is? They said over and over that they would prefer to have Dictate. Trump as a dictator, dictator because no, they don't understand. They don't know Those what yeah. people very clearly yes. they don't get did it. not. Yeah. They were covered in Trump clothing. Mm-hmm. That There's your problem. So suddenly you have this very large group of people and that's what makes it a problem. So if I confront one of the people in my family about it, they can point to the other 49% of the country validation. that's voting it's yeah. not that, that agrees with them yeah. but it's whatever it, it's it is 30. It's, it's there is a 30s. vocal group of people yes. that are some of them you know are congressmen and women that obviously have had some success in their lives do, lawyers whatever but do they think that i always no one plays the long game no I one thinks gonna say something and then go ahead, go ahead, it. The, the congressman there's a congressman in in the house i had a whole point and i it. lost it for somebody who says let me finish a lot you sure don't let me finish i had a whole point what were we talking about you were talking about how everybody uh they they they, they keep saying that the, the 30 40 percent that are like those people believe it too those people believe it too when every time you, you talk to your family members about it and you go that those people believe it too and they so they can point to them and say they got it. And then we've got we've and people that are, have some success in life, you said, that, you know, congressmen. But I don't think so. I don't think Marjorie Taylor Greene's a carpetbagger. She moved to an area that had no. Lauren Boebert came in sixth or seventh. Thank in her God. Primary. I saw that. And I was seventh like, in her primary. And she moved districts because she was afraid of Frisk. Adam Frisk. That's and funny. I, I, Please I, vote her out. I have hope that I think the this MAGA thing mm-hmm. is too small. I'm I'm praying that it's it, too they're small. just louder. So they're just louder. It seems bigger. Yeah. I think they're going to get outvoted when the time comes. That's my okay, right? Mm-hmm. And I think China. I mean, China's always been one of our modern threats but, right now. Haven't they always been yeah. China? It's always been a China. <laughs> all the way, why? All the way back why do you have to, to say the, that? All the way back to to Nixon. Yeah, mm-hmm. they even if they get even if they don't win. They're going to say they won. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. And people are going to be angry. People are already saying mm-hmm. that the election is going to be stolen because you, yeah, it hasn't happened, <laughs> but you have people like Carrie Lake, like Donald Trump, who are constantly it, uh, right after January 6th, he went away. Remember, he mm-hmm. wasn't saying anything yes. about it. The case was filed. He shut the hell up about mm-hmm. January 6th mm-hmm. and the election being stolen. Now he is back in full force because he started testing the waters again like yeah. a child yeah. and realized, oh, nothing's going to happen to me. So now it is every time he's in front of a microphone, the election was stolen. Biden is an illegitimate president. Mm-hmm. So even if he loses like legitimately loses they're not going to admit that the one he, time he has he's only legitimately i lost. know that uh, his guy but I people wanna, are i want to remind everybody this so when you when your people bring this up bill barr yeah. no evidence of election fraud chris krebs the guy yeah. who ran the election who came out and said before the election this is because trump thought he was going to win this is the safest 
fairest election that has ever been done on American soil. Both of those guys got disavowed by Trump after they said that because they found it. Cyber Ninja spent six months going over every that went away. election. Yeah. Every and then they came out three months later and they said we found four hundred and seventy two vote extra votes for, for Biden, Biden. <laughs> for Biden. That went away. The one, quiet. the one time that he showed his hand, he was being honest about he lost. Yeah. He's he's out of of running was went in the ad for the NFTs because he gave it he showed his hand hand like cards twice he said about one of the things you win about you go to dinner with me I don't know if that's a great prize but the other one is like that. your favorite president I uh, something I don't know about that but he doubted himself yeah he he lost his his confidence was yep. gone and he knew he lost that was the, the thing honest about truth. him he does Finish he'll get answer. knocked down. And and he hates that more than anything as a narcissist. So eighty three point three million dollar historical settlement for E. Jean Carroll because for one person he could have just paid the five and mm -hmm. kept it moving. Mm -hmm. He's got plenty of other people to talk shit about who won't do yep. that, but he couldn't do it. So he went from five now to eighty eight point eight million dollars. Right? Do, do you know why he has no attachment to money? Because all he does is use other people's money. I know that's like a billionaire thing, but he literally just takes other people's but money and he spends does. it. He does. And my point is that then he s didn't say anything for several days because now that's he's lying They're about how much money he has on by hand far, yes. and she's shown she'll take him right back well so three days pass not a word and we're like wow that's all it takes worked. is probably all of his cash on hand because he has to deposit that into a trust account now with to, interest if, if he wants to actually appeal it he has to put it all up plus nine percent so okay or he has to pay it to her so either way it's that money's you gone for a, quick, a while right? yeah yeah and so but then over the weekend he started retruthing links to articles that other people wrote saying she was a fraudster and a liar oh so he God. cannot help he himself but oh he's not God. saying it but, but the, i wait i wait to see how much more comfortable he gets well the problem would be if so if he retweeted those articles i would just go i've got 83 million dollars file cases on all these motherfuckers i'm gonna put cases on all you motherfuckers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, training day sorry <laughs> and and then then what happens is because that because honestly if i'd want an 83 million dollar settlement and i knew we could do to handle that like you know what we're gonna do we're taking every one of these motherfuckers down we're gonna shut because well, yeah, some, someone on the right did it someone on the right did it remember for what was that what was that uh, uh what was that news article that got t destroyed they got sued by fox or somebody and they it was like 200 million dollars and they got they had to call fold Oh, they God. were sued by Fox. Yeah, no, they were sued by a right wing, right wing thing, and they got taken out. Look it up. They just they lost it. Uh, uh, it starts with a G. G. Uh, oh, it was, it was a pretty big, big internet internet um, newspaper, and they had to can't they had to they had to close. What was it about? I forget what the article was about, but it was they had written an article about it was something went on the right wing, and they got sued, and they wanted judgment. I want to not Alex Jones. Oh, Hulk Hogan. They done the Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan sued him, and he got he got closed. The same. That did Whenever it. I search that Dominion comes up, another yeah. That, there's another benchmark settlement, seven hundred and eighty-seven million dollars, and they and it's the people still keep moving, mm -hmm. keep it moving. What was the thing about the OAN president that just came out? Oh, I forget. But we're see but but you just said something that's really amazing. We have we have incident after incident after incident mm -hmm. where these right wing people who've who lied mm -hmm. got taken to court and and like Fox lost almost a billion dollars. They're still not done with this Smartmatic. No. Smartmatic's yeah. gonna want They're asking double. Smartmatic wants two point three yeah. billion. And what's happened is is that these people we listen, and, and you said it's not a conspiracy. These are people off the street who are on the juries. These are these are yeah. American citizens mm -hmm. who heard the evidence yeah. and went, "Wow, that's fucked up." And, Both and, juries for E. Jean Carroll, right? Both were randomly selected by his attorneys and mm -hmm. the other her attorneys. But Trump puts it as it's a, it's a conspiracy. It's they, it's, all, it's all rigged. How can it be rigged if you your attorney picked them? Manafort's jury. Manafort's jury, mm -hmm. exactly. And one woman said that she left her MAGA hat in the car, mm -hmm. but the evidence was so indisputable, but people, they just don't care. And this is what I started to say earlier, is that I was saying to you that for the first time ever, we have a group of people that's putting a man over party and over country. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. I 
I could not have Biden and have Gavin Newsom. Mm -hmm. I love Katie Porter. Adam, what's his name? Schiff. Schiff. Shifty Schiff. I was going to say Frisch because I was thinking of Adam Frisch. Shifty Schiff. Um, whatever. Uh, what Menendez committed a crime? Get Gone. him out. Bob, I got to go. But these people, it's they don't care about anything. It's all about him. When you see them being interviewed outside of these rallies about dictator, they don't care. Mm -hmm. They don't care what a dictatorship means. The they guy said, I think America, you know, needs a good spank on the butt from time to time. And that's what Trump dictatorship would be. We'd snap us back in line. And I'm like, Bro, in line for what? You, nobody benefits from a dictatorship except the dictator. Like, what are you talking about? They it's don't man know. over country, man over party, man over everything. But here's what he does. And here's what he does, which is great. By the way, it's not just it's not just man over country and over party. It's man over their religion. They're saying True Trump. That. They're saying Trump is a deity yep. presented by Jesus. So these hardcore evangelical Christians are saying that Trump was sent by God. Mm -hmm. Was he? Because was it, was God high? I actually that day? have a direct well, line, and I can assure you that is not true. Exactly. Thank you. Um, it's so common sense. All you have to do is read some of the things he left behind, and you would go, "Wow, that guy is not the guy." That is not guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think we are in a a lost place, and and I'm glad finally we've nailed that it, that it's Taylor Swift and um, Travis Kelsey. I'm glad we know now why. Because I think I feel better. I think we're gonna Trump's gonna be fine as long as Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey can actually keep this going. Yeah, you know, as long as they're 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 psyops. They're, they are our only hope. They are our the only Chiefs have to hope. win. Yep. They, okay, they are Luke. The, the Luke. NFL is gonna rig that. They, they okay. are the Luke and Leia. She has to of the perform. Democratic Party. She's not. She's not. <laughs> then she has to come out <laughs> and say together. At, oh, with him. That's right. Because now they're America's sweethearts. <laughs> she has to come out at the game and say, "Vote for Biden." Yeah. She won't. That's what Vegas, v v v Vivaswamy said. Yeah. Vivaswamy. You just, that's an abridged. <laughs> just, oh. I like that. <laughs> I know. Vivek Dush. I, by the way, that guy, you know, some people when they talk, he's got, he's, he's, he's like Ted Cruz squared. He's such a douchebag. Yeah. There's so many people that like, like as a dude, as a dude. So every dude, I, and I talked about this, there's a dude test. Uh -huh. Like if you get into a room with a guy you just met, there's a couple things. If you slam him a little bit, he slams you back and you yeah. laugh, that's yeah. fine. Vivaswamy is the kind of guy. He's 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 asshole Dennis. Where you're just yes. like, a, you're like this you, motherfucker. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. And like like all of us guys go. Like we're gonna go play pool, and then he goes, oh, "I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see, talk to the girls for a second. And we all get down and go, "That fucking guy." Yeah, that, exactly. That's like, and and we are at a place now. And, I, and here's the other thing too. How come the right can't comprehend that we just have a different opinion? I was reading. Um, I was reading some reviews on zero side effects online. By the way, if you guys. My specials, eight of my specials are up for free. I put them up for you after, uh, during COVID and they're still up on YouTube. You can watch them, enjoy them. Uh, we're going to film, by the way, if you guys want to get tickets, uh, it'll be up, uh, next yeah, we'll, week. Yeah, we are going week. to get you, uh, we're going to do tickets for, we're filming, uh, carrying monsters here in, uh, in on? LA on April 13th, Saturday, Saturday April two 13th, two shows. Okay. We're going to do a seven, uh, seven thirty show. And then we're going to do a, uh, seven o'clock show and a nine thirty show. Uh, and that'll be the fun one. Uh, they'll both be really fun, mm -hmm. uh, but I'll be stressed for the for second after the second one's done. I'll be like, woo! -hoo! And we got Jeremy to do the tech, our favorite guy. Jeremy's gonna handle it. We're not gonna have any problems like we had last time. He, come, he comes to me yesterday. I talked to Jeremy to get Jeremy to do the tech stuff on it, and then handle camera. He's gonna be camera director, uh, and uh, he comes in. He goes, "Who are we getting?" That fucking he names the guy. That fucking guy does not show. He, 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 he came in so yelling at me. Bad. He just came in yelling at me. I was like, I, we're, I'm with you. By the way. I was there too. Um, you guys should go catch up on the episodes of Knock 'em Dead. They're on at Knock 'em Dead podcast, podcast. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, or you can download it from Apple or wherever. Um, but we are recording tomorrow the new episode. And it's about first responders. People whose death is their job. Yes, and the the guest is going to be my brother, yep. who is has done many jobs as first. a first responder. He's, that's his, he's whatever wherever he whatever new job he has, he's just a different version. I'm just going to say responder. right now, he's a homeland security investigator right. now, but he won't be able to say that on the podcast tomorrow. Oh. He cannot say who he's with tomorrow. So right. 
but you can say it. See now. what I did there? I let it out. And yeah, then yeah. tomorrow he won't know. Mm -hmm. And then you guys will know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to talk about can what that's like. Can I say something about like. Knock Em Dead? So uh, a friend of mine, a guy who's working on this, we're trying to get this movie made, this drag racing movie, then a really cool family story. Um, his mother went into hospice this week and I just thought I got to call him and tell him, Hey, Hey, if you, you just put in your car when you drive and sort of listen to this, um, we are all going to deal with it. We're all going to deal with death. We're all going to deal with someone dying uh, near us uh, close to us that we're going to have to be involved in it. And Ray had this great idea to figure out a way to talk about the different aspects of it so we can all get through it. It's not going to solve the pain, but it will give you an outlet to, think about it differently would that you say that yeah and also like what i felt like for me was i felt very very alone and there's something in the shared experience of like other people group. oh i mean you yeah. know in your brain of course everybody goes through this but you don't feel like it at the time and if i had had something i could go and listen to like uh, you could specifically pick the episode about hospice right you know or whatever and to hear people not just having experienced it but you'll hear some of your experience in it but also people laughing about the absurdity around it we never are laughing at the death it's you know it's not funny but the absurdity with human beings around death is very yeah funny. humanity's hilarious the absurdity <laughs> of humanity is hilarious to me um, uh, we will be in Denver next week, uh, and then the week after we will be, what are we, what, are we, what is this? Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. So Buffalo uh, people come out, yeah. uh, two shows in Niagara Falls. Kind and of excited about that. I kind of am. I've uh, never then been we have Niagara. Syracuse, Albany, Hartford coming up a couple days later, Richmond, Virginia Beach, uh, State Theater in Falls Church. Love that theater. Get tickets for that. My sister is going to be there with her husband and maybe some other people april 16th we're gonna film mm -hmm. carrying monsters if you want to be at the taping we'll have a we'll have a link set up uh do me a favor go to the website give us your email and stuff so we can track you with everything put you on the mailing list for uh, all the stuff we're doing always uh also uh, get uh electioneering Get your Scream Sanity uh, t-shirts. After you register to vote. Yes, yes. Yeah, by the way, that's what pissed everybody off. <laughs> here's here's how you know Here's how you know that the Republicans are out of their fucking minds. They're mad. Here's why they're mad at Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift came out at her, all her concerts pretty mm -hmm. much and in her, in her movie and said, hey guys, you need to get registered to vote. Yeah. You, you live here. It's your right. She made a social media post. Social. Oh, is that what a it TikTok was? TikTok and told people to register to vote. 30, they crashed the sites. They yes. crashed the voter yep. registration sites. So all of a sudden, here's what Republicans know. Their policies are so bereft. Yes. Yes. Their ideas are so lame. Yes. And they're, they're, anything they want to do is only is not going to help Americans. It's going to yeah. help rich Americans, mm -hmm. but that's it. They don't want to be further outnumbered. It's not going to help you. Right. So now they're pissed at her because- Okay, if you figure out how, how close some of the elections were, 35,000 mm -hmm. people across this country register and they're Taylor Swift and they agree with Taylor Swift. That means 35,000 more Democrats registered, yep. which means their margins, even if they won, got smaller. Because they're tanking with tanking. 28 and younger. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're yes. tank. So just maybe just work on your How about your this? Policies. Come up with some good <laughs> ideas that would help. And then we go, hey, that was a good idea. There is such a meanness, I find, in some family members that are you know on social media and i just find a general overall really just unkindness yeah yeah making fun of how people look mm -hmm. making fun of um you know rachel maddow because she looks you know people Economic hate men status. and yet they want to look like men and it's like making putting down people because of their where they're from and their econ it's just it's a common thread of meanness mm -hmm. and Woke. unkindness mm -hmm. that i i really can't i can't abide um, woke. My friend Mahogany was at the house the other day talking about that word woke. We had four years of a president that just did that. No, yeah. uh, well, it, it was just yeah. insulting. I, you know, it's funny as I always thought that we were better and all it took was one guy to open the door, the yeah. head guy to go, Hey, we can all do this. And we all went, people went, fuck yeah, yeah uh -huh. we can all do it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what we need right now? What? A Highlander. I was going to say something. It's time for Highlanders <laughs> Fun Facts. Highlanders Fun Facts. It's Highlanders Fun Facts. Yeah. I couldn't hold that pose. He for was any over longer. there ready to sing for the longest time. <laughs> yeah. He needs water. Oh, that's what it is. I had something I wanted All to right. say, and you cut me off. Boy, this one. You weren't talking. This one is so fun. 
it's gonna it's gonna really not, it's, it's just gonna, finally a fun fact it's during the fun fact segment knock your, knock they haven't crazy. been necessarily yeah, fun. Super we really fun. haven't really we should Highlanders, Fun. interesting, Fun. possibly Some facts. Highlanders, <laughs> interesting Personal anecdotes. Uh, facts. facts. <laughs> <laughs> it's Highlanders, uh, facts. facts. <laughs> <laughs> this one covers everything. Okay. <laughs> I can't yeah. wait. Okay. Philly. Okay. Right. What else? Uh -oh. Maga and Philly. It's really not started off well. A Pennsylvania man beheaded his father I saw uh, this. this morning this yeah. is on the news who was a federal employee and called for revolution yep. against the biden regime and yep. army of illegal immigrants and he posted a yes. video on, on YouTube. youtube probably did really well uh wonder if he monetized he, yeah i'm sure he did. he's actually upset about it he got more views you know we bust our ass on these armageddon updates i can't guy, beat that all thumbnail. this guy did was cut off a guy's head do you know what i thought i actually thought we can't get away with saying like we, trans yes, or we can't or do shit. the we can't do the jeffrey shit. epstein episode they we the have Jeff, to we fight got... every time for every episode and this dude he was up just no clearance. Streaming. Putting his father's head up. I mean, oh. come on. Kathy that was Griffin my did first it fake and she got, she got canceled. <laughs> With ketchup. I wanted to say something. You said meanness, and this is what I wanted to say, real quick. Um, it's really telling. Do you ever, do, by the way, do you guys ever sit around and think about trans or gay people? No. No. I live my life. I don't think about it. You, it's your life. Well, when they it. keep talking about it, I it, think that's really It's mean. really suspect that all these right oh, yeah. wingers, it's a They're constant. Obsessed with it. Yeah. They're obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. Why would you be obsessed with it? Is it because someone has made a choice that you wish you could make? Is it because you you have something hiding in your dark heart that you mm -hmm. want to get? Like what mm -hmm. why or do you care so much about gay and trans people? Did did just two guys get married fuck your life up? Yeah. No. Well, I believe in Jesus. Yeah, but you but you actually said that the guys that tried to kill Nancy Pelosi and Mike Pence were they're hostages. Yeah. So wait, that's not a Jesus thing. Well, we know that they all so, they just project. There's so much of what they do is projection. Yes. Right? Yes. right. That's what I'm saying. It's very suspect. Yes. Yes. It's like, very protest, very protest yeah. too much. Like the Florida guy that just got kicked out. All they did was fight against any kind homosexuality, of homosexuality, yeah. any kind of any. And meanwhile, they're DVC, having a they're having menage, a menage a trois. Yeah. And, and Matt Gates wasn't he part of the group that's like screaming everybody's a pedophile? Yeah, yep, everybody. Uh, but yeah. then he voted against the. Mm -hmm. He was the only. But uh, yeah, I one just vote against the trafficking, anyway. well, anti-trafficking legislation. He's like, yeah, I don't think. I think it's okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Do me a favor. Keep screaming sanity. I got to tell you. We uh, we are in a ragged, ragged time in America. And honestly, the reason this podcast is what it is is because I'm afraid. Honestly, if we had normal Republicans, like old school and normal Democrats that just had minor policy differences on how to get shit done, instead we've got this extreme that we need to figure out how to get through it. Yep. So vote. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. For myself, the lovely Bombshell Ray and the Highlander. Later. Peace out. There's going to be the other one.